Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. I wanted to walk you guys through what's known as a field wireable connector or an IDC. They're very useful devices, very low cost, but pretty useful. So I wanted to show you how it's used and how to put these together real quick. So I have a couple props here. I have a sensor with some flying leads. And the benefit of this is to um, easily take your flying leads into a rugged M12 connector for simplified wiring going into a passive block rather than back to your terminal strips. So this is the field wireable connector here. Really simple devices. They're made up of four components. You have the sealing nut here, which is a silver piece. You have the strain relief. You have the contact carrier. And then you have the connector termination. And they're really easy to install. They made it super simple. So basically what you want to do first is trim your cable jacket back a minimum of about 25 millimeters. I usually do it a little longer. It's easier to manipulate. Um, but you want to leave the insulation cover on the inner conductors. You don't want to strip that. So the first thing you do is you take the sealing nut here and slide this over top. Maybe. Then you're going to take your strain relief you're gonna slide that over as well. And it's designed to sit right on top of the cable jacket here, just like that. So from there, you have these devices on. Um, next thing you do is you take your contact carrier. And what's nice about the contact carrier is it's actually color coded and um, numbered. So the numbers correspond to the final pin orientation on the connector while the color coding corresponds with the conductor colors. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and just slide it over. So for instance, a number three is blue. Take the blue conductor, slide it through to the other side. I'm gonna go, this is a black. Slide that one through. Then brown. And finally the white. All right, once those are all through, you just slide this carrier all the way down to the strainer. It fits in nice there, it's keyed. And then all you have to do from this point is just trim these conductors flush. So go ahead and do that. All right. So from there, you just take this connector termination here and really just thread it over the top with the sealing nut. Lines up. So that's snug there, so make sure that seal is tight. And then from there, you can take it right into your distribution block. Here's a little passive block I have here. Example. Thread it through. And that's it. Easy done.